one single song to increase 10% attack and 20% affinity, or simply super high raw. What's up guys, Opadorf and Deus here and welcome to another very exciting video. These are two extremely powerful hunting horn builds in Monster Hunter Rise, each with a budget and a pro version so no matter how good your charm is, you will be able to make both of these builds. Let's begin with this build featuring the Rampage Hunting Horn. In Monster Hunter Rise, double effect songs grant the full buff and that's what makes this horn so good. It's attack and affinity up song which can be equipped through one of its three Rampage skill slots. For both versions, pro and budget, we are using the same Rampage skills. Sharpness Type 1, Non-Elemental Boost and Attack Melody 2. Sharpness Type 1 allows us to get 20 hits of White Sharpness while having Handicraft Level 2. So of course, we use Speed Sharpening Level 3, which is a really good skill for many builds due to it being a single slot skill and there are not many good options for single slots in Rise right now. Our pro build can be made with this charm, which is honestly not that hard to get. Simply Weakness Exploit Level 2. It comes with these skills additionally. Attack Level 7, Weakness Exploit Level 3, Critical Boost and Horn Maestro. Horn Maestro works differently in Rise. Instead of extending your songs, it gives you a 10% boost on your Shockwave attack damage. It's a mandatory skill for every Hunting Horn build and it's super easy to slot in due to it being a single slot skill. We go for attack boost level 7 over more levels of crit boost because critical boost doesn't affect shockwave damage as the shockwaves cannot crit. So it's better here to max out attack instead, so we get the highest possible effective raw. These are the materials to craft the armor. We use the Sonogra Helm S, the Remombra Suit S, Sinister Gauntlets S, Anjanath Curl S and lastly the Hunter's Greaves S. These are the decorations needed. 1 Sonorous Jewel, 3 Grinder and 3 Attack Jewels. Lastly, you have one free level 1 slot which you can use for, for example, flinch free. If you don't have a weakness exploit level 2 charm, you don't have to worry. This budget build right here is almost as good as the previous one. It's simply attack boost level 4 instead of level 7 and no more crit boost level 1. Here are the materials needed to craft the armor. We again use the Sonogra Helm S, the Sonogra Mail S, the Sinister Gauntlets S, Rathalos Curl S and lastly the Remombra Feet S. If you happen to have a weakness exploit level 1 charm, only then feel free to swap out the waist and the feet for the Anjanath Curl S and the Hunter's Greaves S instead. Essentially, it then gives you attack level 7, which is really nice. The decorations needed are 1 Sonoros, 3 Grinder and 2 Attack. Moving on to this second build, this one is just as good as the Rampage Horn if not better because specifically for Shockwaves, these deal really high damage with this horn due to its high raw. The Wild Grunt is the Bulfango Hunting Horn and we play it with 20 hits of white and 20 hits of blue sharpness. So check out these Rampage skills. They're not that great, but we have a big brain tip for you. So this horn can be crafted right away. It's called Ball Grunt 1, but that's not the best way to do this. If you instead start all the way back with the Bone Hunting Horn, you will be able to use another Rampage skill for it called Attack Boost Level 2. Once you unlocked it, you can then start upgrading it to the Bullfango Tree and it will retain its Attack 2 Rampage skill all the way until the last upgrade, as long as you don't remove it. And all of a sudden we have a nice Attack Rampage page scale for our Bullfango Horn. Super nice tip, right? Again, with a Weakness Exploit Level 2 charm, you can make our pro build. This time, we don't use Crit Boost and instead Handicraft Level 3. Worth mentioning here is that we additionally use one level of Wirebug Whisperer in a double slot. It extends the duration of our third Wirebug by 30%. So normally the third Wirebug lasts for 90 seconds and with Wirebug Whisperer level 1 it lasts exactly 117 seconds, which is 27 seconds longer. The other skills are the same compared to the Rampage build we showed earlier. We use the Sonogra Helm S, Hunter's Mail S, Sinister Gauntlets S, Anjanath Curl S and the Hunter's Greaves S. The decorations needed are again 1 Sonorous, 3 Grinder, 2 Attack and 1 Wirebug Whisperer. The budget version comes with these skills. This time we lose 2 levels of attack and 3 levels of speed sharpening but it can be made without any charms. If you do have a weakness exploit level 1 charm, you could swap the Sonogre for the Baroth Helm and you retain attack level 7 and speed sharpening level 1. We also did an EFR calculation for a possible bludgeoner version of this budget build and while it does have more hits of green sharpness which requires less sharpening, the 
the damage output is quite a bit lower overall, so we decided to recommend this budget build instead. That brings us to the conclusion. How do the two Pro builds Deos is using compare when calculating their effective RAW? Rampage Pro has 20 hits of white and 30 hits of blue, and this is the effective RAW for normal attacks, and here with the attack affinity songs active. And this is the effective RAW of the Shockwave, and once again with the song active. The shockwave damage calculation is done without critical hits, so it's important to take a look at that individually. Also, because Horn Maestro is a 10% damage multiplier specifically for the shockwave and not the normal EFR. The Bullfango Pro, in comparison, has 20 hits of white and 20 hits of blue, and comes in at these values. Keep in mind, it does not have any damage boosting songs. And here, in comparison, the budget versions come with these EFR values. So before we talk about the switch skills, there is something important to mention about the Rampage Hunting Horn melodies. While Attack Melody 2 is very good, it's also important to consider the value of Healing Melody 2. So by sacrificing the Attack Affinity Song for the Healing Melody, we get access to Health Recovery Large, which heals you every time you play that song. Health Regeneration grants a passive continuous health regeneration as long as this buff is active, and Earplugs protects you from monster screams. So this is a very comfy option to play if you are okay to sacrifice a little bit of damage. This melody also works really well in combination with the switch skill called Bead of Resonance. This lets you put down a wirebug cocoon which repeats every song you play a second time, so you play Health Recovery Large once and you get the effect twice. This heals you a lot without using any potions and it even heals your team members as well. On top of that, Bead of Resonance also plays an attack song every time you play any song. So this switch skill is even better for horns that don't already have an attack song, because you cannot stack both of them. So essentially, what that means is that if you play this hunting horn with the healing melody instead of the attack melody too, you definitely want to be using Beat of Resonance. All you're gonna lose now is the 20% affinity increase. But if you play the Rampage Horn on max damage with the attack affinity song that we recommended earlier, then it is really good to use Earthshaker instead. The other switch skills are up to your personal preference, really. For the Bulfango builds, Beat of Resonance is not gonna outdamage Earthshaker, but feel free to still use whatever you prefer. We hope these three builds gave you some inspiration or helped you out in case making builds is very difficult for you. As always, feel free to experiment yourself or watch our upcoming speedruns from Deos for some more inspiration. Especially after the first title update drops, this is gonna be very interesting. We will also certainly get even better talismans in the future, so we might update our build videos. So if you liked this video, consider subscribing, it would help us out a lot. Thank you guys. Lastly, here's just a friendly reminder that there are many ways to play this game and to experiment with different hunting horns and builds, so make sure to be nice to everybody online. And with that being said, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.